Okay, everybody, welcome back to lesson three. And on this lesson, we're going to actually put some code onto um, our farm and get it to actually display hello world. Okay, we're going to put a another property, sorry, another uh, control onto the farm. And the control I want you to select is a label and just drag that on. Okay. And if we go over to the name, I'm going to call the label LBL display. And we're also going to take out the actual text on the label so it's blank. So you should have something that looks a lot like this. Now, this is the bit that um, tends to confuse people at first. VB is a object-oriented programming language, but it's also referred to as a event-driven language. If I just play the program again, and if I say hello world, if I click on that button, say hello world, I've not put the code behind it, but the event is the actual click on that button, that left click of the mouse, and that event will trigger or drive some code, hence event-driven programming. So if I just stop the program, I need to get behind the code. There's a, a number of ways of getting behind the code. You can view the code in the Solution Explorer, or you can double click on the actual control you want to write the code behind. So if we double click on, say, Hello World, and there we've got private sub button, say, Hello World, click, by Val, sender, etc., etc. You don't need to worry about that. What All you need to be concerned about is the fact that you're inside the private sub for button say hello and also that you've got click selected by default it's always click okay I'm gonna add my first bit of code now I want okay so I'm just gonna add my first bit of code now what I want to do is actually get the hello world displayed in the label so where is the information being sent to it's being sent to label display control and as you type stuff you'll notice that um, Visual Basic does this kind of like predictive text in, if you like so it's very uh, intuitive it's, it's always dropping hints to you all the time as to available properties and available controls and so on anyway the text property within the label is what I want to actually change and I want to make that equal to hello world. So I say label display dot text equals and then my actual string hello world. Label display is the control I want to send the information to dot property text in this case and then what that property value is equal to okay so if I just save my project and then I shall run it so here we go and hello world appears that seems to be working fine I'll just stop that and that's about it really so don't forget event driven programming Left click is the event, left, left click on the say hello world button will drive that bit of code. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.